Well, we're just three months away from the inaugural running of the $2 million Eureka here at Club and Angle on September the 2nd. Field gradually starting to take shape with another runner taken up this week. The Jared Orchard trained my ultimate Ronnie. I caught up with Jared to get his feelings on what it's going to be a wonderful experience. Well, Jared, congratulations. On a personal note, what a great achievement and just rewards for all those slogging hard hours, cold hours here at Club and Angle. Yeah, no, it was great. Um, sort of been in the pipeline there for a little bit and sort of backwards and forwards and hoping we were going to get a slot, but um, for it to work out, um, yeah, we're very thankful for uh, Rob Watson and so Standard Breads for giving us the opportunity and having faith in him and um, I think you're doing proud. Well, that is a great reward for you, Jared, but also for your brothers, Ricky and Alex, who are always there to lend support in many, many ways. Yeah, no, it's good. Like we all live up here now, so um, yeah, it's it's good for everyone involved. And Tummy Park, they've uh, been a huge supporter of mine. So um, to to be in the race with them is um, very special. How did that association come about, Joe? Uh, it's just started with one horse, and um, he he was uh, just a Saturday night horse. He was okay. He, he sort of went through his grades here on a Saturday night, and um, just snowboarded from them. One went to two, to three, to four, and I'd hate to know how many we got together now. So, uh, yeah, they're just Scott and Jody are terrific people, and um, they're um, behind me 100%. And I couldn't be more thankful for them for that. You mentioned Mr. Rob Watson from Soho Stand and Breads. He was tinkling with which horse he was going to come up with, but he was so enthusiastic about my ultimate Ronnie. Yeah, he said that the thing that got him over the line, or two runs that got him over the line, so or well, sold on him was the Chariots of Fire run when he had no luck from a wide gate, and the heat and final of the British Challenge, um, where we're in second to um, leap to fame. Um, we're, we're under no ill illusion. It's going to be a hard race. You know what I mean? Like it's probably one of the best crop of four-year-olds we've seen for a lot of years. Um, but if, if he can draw a gate and posse up handy, I, I think he's a genuine top four chance. That's the underlining point, Joe. It, it will be an elite field of four-year-olds, but we're also going to have an elite field of trainers and drivers. Yeah, that's right. And who knows, there might be some three-year-olds in it as well. But um, I guess time will tell then. And um, yeah, they're great trainers, great drivers. And it's just uh, exciting for me as a trainer to have a horse in the race. My ultimate, Ronnie, 25 starts, 16 wins and four placings. What makes him so special? Um, he's just a cool horse. He's a very laid back customer. He's, uh, he's a colt, but you wouldn't know it. He just cruises around and he's just a beautiful horse around the place. And, you know, he's, he's so durable, like he, he can lead, he can come off the back of him. Um, doesn't matter what distance. I do think the, the greater the distance, the better he is. Like I think the trip will really suit him. Um, but he can win over the mile and yeah, he's a very versatile horse. And I think that's the best thing about him. We always look for home track advantages. Uh, Jared, with a field like this, it's going to be very difficult to have a home track advantage. Oh, I think they're all terrific horses, you know, like um, I, I think uh, Leap the Fame's clearly the one to beat. He's um, one of my favourite horses going around just to watch him and um, in the heat of the New South Wales British Challenge, like I thought he wouldn't beat us that night. I, I thought he, he was be a bit easy on him after the Victorian Derby and if we're ever going to beat him like over a mile that was that was the race and for him to sit outside us and do what he done he's, he's just a freak of a horse um, so yeah I think he's clearly the one to beat but uh, if we can get a draw I'm sure we'll be in the money thereabouts. We spoke about the drivers Jared you have Cam Hart in your corner now as we've mentioned on numerous occasions you have to check on occasions whether Cam's got a heartbeat, but that can be to his advantage. He's such a cool, calm, collected customer. Yeah, he is, and that's why we like him driving our horses. Um, I can get a bit worked up at times and uh, get a bit nervous and anxious sometimes, and I think Cam's a calming influence there. He's uh, Nothing worries him too much. He can slaughter one and he comes back, and the next race he's forgot about it, and he just moves on, and I think that's what makes him such a good driver. He gets a little bit upset when the roosters get beat, but we can understand that. Well, he's got to get used to that this year. <laughs> yeah, well, he's got a partner too that uh, I think he calls races. He's getting a bit, uh, bit toey as well. Just go back with Cam. One aspect of Cam is the fact that he's been there and done that, taking out the $1 million nullable. So that's certainly in his favour. Yeah, that's right. Um, I think every horse, every race is different. You know what I mean? Um, this race here at Menangle will be unique. You know, it's the first ever running and... Um, 
over the 2400 and such a terrific field I think um, yeah like what will be will be I guess but um, yeah we're just glad to be in the race. And also the fact that Rob Watson is dedicating 10% of the prize money for a very special cause. Yeah um, one of his mates sons um, passed away through that illness so uh, for him to be doing that it's a terrific gesture. Yeah, Toby for childhood cancer, so hopefully, Jared, you can get that major share of the prize money. Yeah, well, we all are hoping for that. <laughs> Just to be a big party. Yeah, it might be a party even if we run a place. Well, Jared, you've got my old money now tucked away for the Eureka, but you've lost a couple of your stars. Yeah, no, during the week we've um, we've sold my ultimate buyer and he's going to the States and Madrid. So uh, they've been terrific horses for me, both Group 1 winners. And, um, yeah, it'll be sad to see him go, but um, they've done terrific jobs and I'm sure over in the States they'll just do just as good a job. You know, I think they're both suited to the racing over there and um, we'll be watching keenly. Well, we're going to be watching Curly over the next three months, Jared, as we build towards the Eureka. I know this place is going to be buzzing. Congratulations, and no doubt you'll uh, represent this state with flying colours. Yep, thank you.